Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, it's time for our November update. So, before I get into any more details, time for the intro. Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Stewart. Back in 2018, I was diagnosed with IIH. The long form of this name is called idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Some of you may also know this condition by its older names, either pseudotumor cerebri or benign intracranial hypertension. So if you're curious to learn more about what it's like to live with this condition, or what those of us living with this condition would like you to know, then I strongly encourage you to watch on. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so that you get updated about further videos. I upload new content every Monday and Thursday afternoon. The first thing that I want to cover is a weight loss update. And so I am down to 140 pounds even now. It's kind of bouncing back and forth between 140 and 141 right now. The majority of this video, I actually want to spend on how I've been feeling lately because I have not been feeling very good, actually. I want to spend a little bit of time talking about how I've been feeling and what I've been going through in the past few weeks. I did briefly mention this in my previous video, but I don't expect that video to get much attention because of the timing of the video was kind of strange. And I don't think a lot of people who have a lot of symptoms with IIH are going to be really considering post-secondary education. So I don't expect that video to get a lot of views, but I wanted to do that video to show that it is possible for you to go on and make it an official announcement that I am planning on going back to school. I will keep you guys updated as that gets closer because right now it is several months in the future. And I had promised a video about why I was taking my CPR course when I released that video publicly. So I did it because I promised to do it. And that's basically why it was as strange timing as it was. I promised in my upload on Thursday that I would cover a little bit more in detail about how I was feeling being that I had been dealing with a wave of symptoms. So I had went over my actual symptoms in that video, but I'm gonna go over them again because I think it's important too. So in the past few weeks, I've been experiencing pulsatile tinnitus again, which is something that I didn't even deal with much before I had my official diagnosis of IIH and was really the solidifying symptom for me when I actually looked up IIH. I've been feeling more pain in my neck and particularly it feels like neck stiffness and it kind of goes down into the shoulders and then down into my lower back and I've actually been feeling it quite a bit in my lower back which it's kind of a very similar feeling to after you get the lumbar puncture. It's but it can make sleeping really, really painful because it feels like your back is about to like explode from the pressure basically. So that's one thing. Another thing that's been happening is pain in my neck and shoulders and all the way down my back. I haven't had much pain around in the back of my head, like what I have been experiencing in the past. If you remember, I did that video where I had a sore spot on my head. I haven't really noticed that that's been bothering me a lot. So I'm not 100% convinced that this is a pressure buildup at all. Another thing that I'm hesitant to say that this is IIH related at all is because I haven't had any double vision. Finally, it's been a year and a half, longer than that, since my double vision first started. And right now, I don't have many instances of double vision at all. In fact, I haven't really had any in the past couple of weeks. I'm like scared to say this because I'm scared it's going to come back. I do experience it when I'm 
tired though. And I haven't really paid attention to when I'm in a lot of pain to see if my vision is really, really bad. But this is a really good sign that the double vision is finally going away because it's been a long time and it's taking it's something that has taken a while to get better so hopefully that's a sign that my eyes are really good and all of that I won't know until I see my ophthalmologist next year in February it's why I'm not really that concerned about my symptoms at this point because my vision seems to be okay at least for now the thing is is that my head is definitely been a lot better over the past couple of months. I think the Lasix is helping. So I was put on Lasix in, I think, August or September. I don't even remember anymore. It's been a few months since I was put on it. And I think it's been helping. It's just, it's very, very difficult for me to stay hydrated. And all of that so that's kind of been a bit of a struggle i just want to make sure that i'm taking in enough water the symptoms are coming in waves right now so it's it's kind of frustrating because one day i'm feeling really really good like i'm feeling my new normal or what i consider my normal and then the next day it'll be like i'm on the couch in a lot of pain is what it seems to be going on right now so i just it would be just nice if everything was a little bit more steady at this point. I think the migraines are actually under control right now. So hopefully that's a good thing. I don't think that this pain in the neck and shoulders and back has anything to do with migraines. I think it has something to do with pressure, but I honestly don't know. Like I said, I had a little bit of symptoms that I haven't experienced much since I had my lumbar puncture. This was a couple of weeks ago now. So before I had my lumbar puncture, I was having really, really severe calf pain. And there was really no explanation for why I was having this calf pain. But for those of you who do running or like long distance running or anything, it kind of feels like it does when you haven't cooled your legs down properly and it actually started after i've been using a treadmill when i first started actually experiencing these symptoms i thought it was just an exercise injury i didn't realize that it wouldn't go away until i had my lumbar puncture and actually it was very strange when it did so i had had severe severe calf pain for a couple of months i actually did have to put some rob a 535 on it in order to deal with it for i think i did it for a couple of nights but it went away after a couple of nights and all of that so i'm happy that it released this time i think this will probably be the last update on my ankle my ankle has been doing really good i'm having almost no pain in it unless i accidentally sit on it for too long but i'm very very happy with how my ankle has done over the past couple of months since i've started getting back into my workouts it's basically been a trial and error experiment on what i can basically handle and what is best but my ankle's feeling pretty good and my movement is getting better so basically the only time i struggle right now is actually going down any stairs going upstairs i don't even have to hang on to the railing anymore but going down the stairs is still kind of hard other than that i think it just it needs a little bit of extra strength training and all of that and it, it always seems to feel better the longer i keep working it and the more often i work it so my plan is over the next probably month is to try and increase my workouts now i have been losing weight a little bit even with the workouts that i've been doing so I want to make sure that my weight stays steady before I increase my workouts at all because I'm obviously burning more calories than I'm taking in right now and I don't really want to be losing weight. So if I happen to become steady or kind of up and down around a certain weight, I'm going to start increasing my workouts. I w really would like to get back to doing 60 minute workouts rather than just 30, but right now I've had to 
just work with my ankle on that. I'm still not really able to jump all that much, so there are some workouts that I do have to modify. And I have to modify my workouts anyways because of my head. So it's been a little bit of a slow going, getting back into the Zumba. I've been enjoying it. It's been nice getting exercise again. If there's any questions or comments that you guys would like to add to the video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.